Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Certified Football 4 Box Random Team Break number 8 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is the last uh, 4 boxes of that case, that fresh case we popped open a couple days ago. Very big thanks to everybody here for getting in on it. Remember, one spot gets you two teams. So let's double you up like Sir Mix a lot. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Six and a six, 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12th and final time. What do I think about the extra week? I, you know, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I probably will, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's a, it's a struggle for teams to, to be 100% healthy and, and get all the way to the end of the season without getting injured, Right? Or if like teams are kind of, if they're set, you know, if they're set with their, uh, you know, playoff spots. I mean, are, are, are teams going to like just not play starters the last week or two, you know? 10, 11, and 12. So I have mixed feelings about it. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, Steve Birch is right. Vegas loves it, you know? After 12 times, Jets down to Niners. So yeah, Vegas loves it. The owners love it. They're pocketing more money. I guess the players are getting extra game checks too. If they're, you know, I'm sure they work that out somehow. But Or no, maybe this year they don't because their contracts are, were based on 16 game seasons last year. So are they getting extra money? I don't know how that works out actually. Patrick with the Jets. Richard with the Falcons. It's prorated. Mark with the Patriots. David with the Titans, Chris with the Giants, Networks love it, Michael with the Eagles, Brian with the Bills, uh, Mark with the Texans, Chris with the Steelers, Bill with the Panthers, Jazz with the Chiefs, Richard with the Cowboys, Jer with the Seahawks, um, Steve with the Chargers, Patrick with my Raiders, Karen with the Lions, Patrick with the Bengals, Jazz with the Vikings, Michael with the Ravens, Darren Porterhouse Steak with the Colts, Chris with the Rams, Patrick with the Saints, Brian O with the Jags, Michael with the Cardinals and the Packers, Karen with the Buccaneers, Chris Yates with the Washington football team, the Porterhouse Take with the Dolphins, Bill with the Browns, Steve with the Bears, Jarrett with the Broncos, Dave with the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, but it's clearly a money move. Yeah, Logan, Logan's right. It's a, it's a money move from the networks and the owners and all that stuff. Is it player safety? Probably not. You know, so got mixed feelings about that. As a consumer, though, I mean, I like an extra week of football, but not if it's like, you know, if we have like a mash unit playing like week 16 and 17 if they're getting injured, and then that dilutes the playoff product, right? What if what if, what if Logan Logan's a uh, Packers fan? What if the Packers have to play that extra week 17 because or need him to start the extra week 17 because of whatever? And then, you know... Darren Rodgers gets injured because of that. I don't know. There's a lot of weird scenarios where, where I feel like, I don't know. Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. Anyway, we got some trades going on. Richard has the Falcons up for trade. Uh, Texans for Broncos, maybe, is an offer that's out there that Mark has. Pass on that. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see... If there's any more trades, trade offers, possible trades being done, and when we come back, we'll have the break itself. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. We've got the sounds of uh, the a preseason week three game, Cleveland at Atlanta. And look at that. we got a trade. So Patrick is out of the Raiders spot and into the Houston Texans spot. We'll put T next to there for trade. Mark R., is out of the Texan spot and now in the Raiders spot right there. We'll take next to there for trade. And let's print and rip. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for hanging with me on a Sunday. Remember, we had marked all those RT. This is the final four boxes of certified. 
that we have for the time being. So thanks everybody who got into all of the pick your team breaks and all the random team breaks of 2021 certified football. Hopefully we were able to get you some nice stuff. If not, certified may come back at some point. And if you don't care for certified, guess what? There'll be a lot of football products coming up throughout the rest of the year. So stick with me. Stick with jazbeescasebreaks.com. Hopefully we'll uh, pull you some nice things this football season. Hang with us all football season long. We love talking football. We love talking fantasy football. All that sort of stuff. And guess what? With a slight shift in the schedule, I work Sundays now, so I'll be able to watch football with you on Sundays. I think by the time I start uh, the show on Sundays, we'd probably be about almost halfway through like the the second games, the late games. So, and we can recap the, the early games together. It should be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right, box number one, random team number eight. Thanks, everyone. Good luck. First one out of the gate is Panay Sewell to 399 for the Lions. That's going to be Fort Karen. That's Stephon Diggs to 249. Saquon Barkley to 249. If he's healthy, the Giants could be a pretty interesting team this year. I feel like no one's really running away with that NFC East, right? Might as well be the Giants. Uh, Adam's saying two end of preseason game Hail Marys converted in the same stadium within a couple days of each other. At least the Jets were able to get the two point conversion in the tie. Oh, is that the. Because I know there's. Where's that other game going on? So I think there's one more game happening right now, right? Because I've got the Cleveland-Atlanta game on. Oh, that was the Patriots-Giants game. So who threw the... Who threw the... Uh, Giants pass. Oh, it's ending now. It's Mike Glennon. Deep pass left to uh, D. Willis for four. Uh, Damian Willis for 43 yards. Touchdown. Two point convert. Uh, two point conversion fails, so they end up losing by a couple. That's crazy. Steve's got a fancy draft in an hour, and I pick fifth. After the obvious Justin Field sleeper pick, who do you guys suggest I grab? I guess the. I guess the rule of thumb is to not take a quarterback in the first round. There's fabric of the game, Jerry Judy, 24 out of 249. The rule of thumb maybe is the uh, is get a top of the line running back. Is out of 45, Andre Tippett, New England Patriots. Mark Rowe with that one. Richard S. likes uh, Thielen. Yeah, maybe a top wide receiver. There's Elijah Molden to 299. Both years you won, you took a QB in the first round? If you can get a top quarterback, then yeah, I, th I think you could reach a little bit. But there's a lot of value in quarterbacks. There's a lot of quarterbacks that are... And there's the Michael P. Ryan that you can get in the league that are pretty solid. Pat Fryermuth, 76 out of 499. Here's a sleeper right here. There's Travis Etienne, poor Travis Etienne. We'll see him next year. 66 out of 99, two-color relic. Hopefully he comes back strong. Ryan O, Jaguars. Is 
Aaron Rodgers to 199. Next box. Richard likes Thielen, Deontay, Claypool, Keenan Allen all poised to pop off. I like I like Keenan Allen as well. The Justin Herbert effect. New head coach. You know, no no Anthony Lynn anymore. Could result in a, in a in a more dynamic sort of, an even more if you, if you can believe that an even more dynamic attack. With a new staff. Gilo saying uh, we're entering a new generation of quarterbacks. We are. Yeah, Brady is really the only one left in that sort of older era. Well, Aaron Rodgers too. For the old older guys, yeah, I think Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers can still play at a top level. Maybe Big Ben, but yeah, he. I don't know that that extra week might might hurt players like uh, might hurt players like Big Ben. You know what I mean? Keenan Allen cannot stay healthy. Keenan Allen in the last one, four seasons have started 13 games last year, 16 games the year before, 14 games the year before that, and 15 games the year before that. I think he I think he does I think he has a good idea of staying healthy. There's Kylan Keelan Keelan Granderson to 199. To 99, goal team Tyree Kill. There's a Whoop Fillier, 44 out of 50. And we've got Heath Miller to 25. I think Keenan Allen still gets that injury like knock because of that uh, 2015 season and that 2016 season. But I think they were they they were but they were injuries that weren't even. I, I think were like like freak injuries. You know, like he like his spleen exploded on it. Like there's something weird about like his injuries, that were, not characteristic. But I think for the la next four years after that, he's been pretty strong. He's been pretty healthy, and now with with uh, with Justin Herbert there, he, his numbers might. Might look pretty good. There's Creed Humphrey to 299. What's up, Alan? What's up? What's going on? Rob Gronkowski to 149. Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, Joe Burrow, Janu Smith, and Anthony Schwartz. 128 out of 349. Two color patch and autograph. Bill Norton, Cleveland. This is for you. Nice rookie jersey and autograph. There's Deontay Johnson, 16 out of 50. Could be poised to have a really nice season this year. Richard, we still have two boxes to go. You know, coach always said, play to the whistle. I think we, we should take that advice here too. Baker Mayfield to 299. Yeah, Richard S. really likes Deontay Johnson. Thinks he's going to be poised to have a big year. All right. Next box. Gilo, Gilo, you think Dalvin Cook's underrated? I don't think so. I don't think anyone underrates Dalvin Cook. I think any Yeah, 
he's pretty darn good. Yeah, exactly, Steve. Yeah, I don't think anyone's sleeping on Dalvin Cook. Yeah, yeah, I actually think he's rated exactly where he needs to be. Under in terms of fantasy picks? I don't know. Richard says his average draft position is two. Should he be one? Maybe Gilo's arguing he should be one. There's Stefan Diggs, stars insert to 199. There's Nick Chubb to, to 50. And a Justin Herbert relic for the Chargers, 299. Gilo says, you got a mid-rounds last two seasons? Or mid-draft last two seasons? Or mid... You mean the mid-first round? If you got a mid-draft the last two seasons, I want to play in your league. Jalen Waddle, rookie, roll call, auto, roll call. 13 out of 50. Nice. Hopefully we'll be hearing a lot of two at a Waddle all season long. Dolphins, the Darren, the Porterhouse Steak. Right, Richard? We should join We should join Gilo's league. A league where, where Dalvin Cooks are being drafted in mid-rounds. In mid-draft, that is. Micah Parsons to 299. Dwayne Eskridge to 149. Devin White to 75. Tommy saying fantasy football is more fun before all your friends had kids. A lot of my friends have kids in my league. They're still pretty active. Two quarterback, uh, two quarterback keeper auction league. The people are pretty, uh, still pretty intense. There's Jalen Darden, 93 out of 349, patch and autograph. Uh, freshman fabric patch and auto for, for Karen in Tampa Bay. Could they do it again? Could they win again? There's Zach, oh, just, just a relic. I thought his autograph was going to appear. New generation relic, Zach Wilson, 42 out of 125, rooting for him as well. Patrick with the Jets. Hope he has a good season. There's Jeff Okuda to 299. Uh, Terrace Marshall Jr. Terrace? It's not Terrence. It's Terrace Marshall Jr. to 199. No end there. It's for Carolina. That'll be for Bill. All right, fourth and final box. Good luck. Now, now, Richard, we can panic about about the lack of hits, and, and anyone else hasn't hit yet. Good luck, everybody. Fingers crossed. If you haven't hit yet, hopefully this is the box where it happens. Are there any Jaspie's customers in the path of Hurricane Ida? Yes. Hopefully they're okay. My thoughts are with them. I've got some friends that down there too. So hopefully it's okay. How much was this break? I don't think this break price was that bad. I think everyone else is charging like a hundred, like a thousand dollars a spot in this Gilo. A thousand dollars a spot. 
I've seen other guys charge that. <laughs> Screw those other guys, right? We charge $90, one spot, two teams, and a four-box Ram team break. But the other guys have seen them charging like $1,500 or something like that because... Because they, you know, they're they're bad business people. There's Marquez Stevenson to three ninety nine, and a Justin Fields street art insert. It's pretty cool. Steve with the Bears. I think we're at market price on this pick. Two two Atwell to one forty nine, and. What is this? Stat Smashers, Ladanian Tomlinson. I think that's a that's a short print. Stat Smash. Yeah, Ladanian Tomlinson could, could smash some stats. That's for sure. Um, Chargers. That'll be for Steve. Steve H. With the bolts. And we got a Mac Jones patch and auto. That's 60 out of 199. Mark Rao with the Patriots. There you go, Mark. Nice. Do I have his do I have his stats up for the day? Did he play it all? Patriots beat the Giants just a few moments ago, 22-20. to 20. Uh, Mac Jones did play. He went 10 for 14, 150 yards, and a touchdown. It's pretty good numbers. There you go. There's Hunter Renfro for my Raiders, 102 out of 299. That'll um, also be Mark drawing first blood in that trade. I think that's precisely why, Richard, why, why, why the Patriots needed a stronger offer than the, uh, needed a little bit of a stronger offer than the Falcons, even with Kyle Pitts. There's Trey Sermon to Seal of approval, Justin Jefferson to 149. I wonder if there'll be another rookie receiver like Justin Jefferson this year. I think what he did his rookie year is pretty rare. Receivers usually need a, you know, rookie receivers. I don't know, receivers in general, when they enter the NFL, they need a year or two to, to kind of marinate before they really start to emerge. There's the 75, Braven Jordan. Terry McLaurin to two ninety nine. That'll be for Chris. And we got Frank Darby. Three out of 30. Big car saga right here. Rookie autograph for Richard S. and the ATL. At least something. A little something there. Seal of approval, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, and A.J. Brown. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. And that was a quick little uh, certified break. 2021 Panini Certified Football 4-Box Random Team Break number 8. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.